everybody, welcome to the Patriot Show. I'm your host, Anthony Stephen Malone. I am joined today with a very special guest, Rich Roberts, the bearded fisherman who's been helping veterans with P to PTSD. Outstanding effort. Hey, Rich, how you doing, mate? I'm all right, mate. How are you? I am good. I'm very good, my man. Thank you for coming on the show as well. Um, you're doing okay. some outstanding, outstanding work. Obviously, I'm up to speed with all of that. Can you give my viewers at Patriot a bit of an overview about who you are and what you do? Well, we're the Bearded Fishermen. We're a um, mental health support and suicide prevention charity um, that's based in Gainsborough, um, but we work all over the UK. And um, we work with uh, everyone from general public to veterans, um, basically just anyone that needs us at this present time. Right, mate. Um, you've been doing, you do a lot, of, I know you do a lot of work, but can you explain to me, viewers, you do the fishing. How did all of that come about and how did it come about that you were helping a lot of the military veterans? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, fishing, uh, myself and Mick that started the charity, we do a lot of fishing. We use it as a way of helping our mental health and, you know, keeping us uh, um, going. And it's a, a good way to sit there and chat. Um, we decided to start it after a lot of the guys along the lakes always chat to each other. Um, and then we found out that one of the guys had um, taken his own life um which kind of gutted a lot of us and we thought is there anything we can do to kind of help the guys so originally it started out that we was just running a support group and it was aimed at men with you know that and aimed a lot of the fishing community um but it just grew and grew until you know we was getting calls from everybody you know men women children um civvies vets um we got more into the vets when we had a volunteer that was an ex-vet himself. Um, but uh, now um, we deal with a lot of them. Um, all our medical training, the guy that does our training, he's a 30-year vet himself as a nurse in, you know, he's been all over the place. Um, so he passes people on to us as well. You know, so we've got involved with quite a lot of the vet groups and things as well, because everybody needs some help now and again exactly mate that's that's absolutely spot on um with you doing the fishing do, do, do you personally find and do the veterans find that being when you're fishing in a nice quiet and tranquil environment do, does does that help them oh yeah definitely um it's you get a lot of time to you know sit and think and it's peaceful it's relaxing um, we generally find that there's normally one, two, three people join together, um, fish together, and they can sit and have a, a good chat. Um, most anglers that you'll find around one lake generally um, tend to go for a wander and start chatting to all the other guys that are around there. Um, and you just find yourself opening up to other people, you know, um, you find a lot have gone through it, you're, you know, the same as you. Um, and and it's just because you're so relaxed and it's so peaceful, you just find yourself opening up so easy. Um, so it, it's a good way to, you know, but, you know, you can't beat your depression on your anxiety, but it really, it does go a long way to helping it. Okay. If any of my, my viewers are actually out there and they wanted to find some more information out on you and your organization where can they go to find that um where we have the websites which is the beardedfisherman.org.uk um we're all over facebook um you just just put in hashtag bearded fisherman and we pretty much come up on all the social media twitter and instagram and um, facebook um so we're very easy to find very easy Right. Okay, well, what I'll do is at the end of the interview, I will post your information under the interview as well. So if my yeah. my viewers want to read a little bit more or contact you to di directly, the, the information will be there as well. I know you've done 
so much work to help the veterans and that. Can you pick out a couple of things that you've done so me viewers have got an idea of the sort of work you and your team do as well? Yeah, um, I mean, we, we're all medically trained now, um, so we can all go, we go out, um, wander around, meet people, um, talk to a lot of people that are on the streets. And if we find that, you know, some of them are veterans, um, we point them in the direction of the best place for them to go contact, like people like yourselves, um, a couple of the other groups that we're um, friends with. So we can get the information that we need and help them out and try and get them into accommodation. Um, as you know, in Gainsborough, there's you know particular um, people that will home and obviously how you know build up the um, kit for them in the houses, you know, with the white goods and stuff. Um, and then uh, people like yourselves that will help out with food and bits and pieces. So. You know, there's always the help out there. Um, it's just a case of needing to ask. Okay. If you've got a message to any veterans out there who are struggling, who are going through a hard time at the moment, what would that message be? Um, don't do it by yourself. There's uh, plenty of people out. Uh, you could give us a ring on our numbers that uh, Anthony will post up. Um, we can chat to you and we can signpost you to uh, other groups um, that have like-minded vets like yourselves and um, so don't do it alone exactly the message of everyone out there if you're battling going through a hard time at the moment a lot of us have been there seen it got the t-shirt okay ladies and gentlemen it's not easy but don't be by yourself pick up the dog and bone like i always say speak to someone speak to another vet you don't have to be a military veteran. You could be a member of the emergency services. A lot of the guys out there have got PTSD and have seen a lot of things in their careers. You don't have to go through it alone. Speak to someone out there. A lot of us have been through it. We've been there where you actually are. The other thing is, do not stay cooped up in your house or your flat, okay? Get your trainers on, get your boots on, get your jacket on. Go for a walk in the, in the countryside. Go for a walk in a park, get yourself out, get some fresh air, get a little bit of exercise. You'll feel a lot better in yourself on that one. Um, Rick, would you like to add anything to that? No, it's definitely great advice. Um, it's one of the best things you can do and uh, reach out to people. You know, don't be alone. I think what you're doing with your team, um, getting a lot of the veterans out there and doing the fishing and for things like that as well outdoors it's a massive benefit to a lot of the a lot of the veterans and that and to your team as, as well what yeah. what other massive benefits have you realized by getting everyone together in little groupings getting them outside and that um the handy thing about that is when you when you're outside. I mean, obviously the fresh air is brilliant for you. Opens your your mind up, and clears everything out. And when you start building up a little group, it also gives you somebody else that you can sit and talk to. Um, so when you're not at the side of the lake or when you're not wandering around on your own, you know full well that you have got phone numbers you can just pick your phone up and ring and, and chat to people for half an hour um, and you know just that half an hour can really make a big difference to um, how the rest of your day goes exactly um, get yourself in a little group in one or two people well, two or three people and having a chat it really helps as well especially in the environments and that I know you're doing the fishing in Gainsborough. There's other organisations who are doing it across England. Phoenix Heroes, they're down in yeah. Colchester. They're doing it there as well. Yeah. So they're easy to contact, have a look on the internet. There's a lot of good little charities out there and groups that are doing some incredible work for the veterans. They're not hard to find. If anyone gets stuck in trying to find somebody, send me a private message i'll put you in in touch with wherever you are in the country i'll find someone as as well 
Rick, what are your plans for your little group? Because your group and your idea has exponentially ex, 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 expanded. Um, you, I know you've got new officers and that, and you, your team's expanding as well. What is your motivation? What is your drive at the moment? Uh, drive at the minute is to get out there and help as many people as we can. Um, like I say, we're expanding. We've got the two rooms now for the call centre, 14 lines in total through the day, four now at night. Um, so we, we get covered overnight as well. Um, we've got teams that are going to start going out and I would say patrolling, but basically just going out for a walk at night, um, seeing if they come across anybody, sit and have a chat to them and see how they're doing. Yeah. Um, and then we've also got our uh, response team, um, which are all medically trained. So if anyone is in crisis and they need help urgently, um, if they're within the area that we're in, um, we can get to them quick. If they're in an area that we aren't in, we know of other places that can get to them quick as well, like in Nottingham. So, you know, and uh, it's just to be there for people. Okay. You're setting up as well your radio station. You're getting everything yeah. together for that as well. <laughs> you weren't going to talk about that. Can you tell me <laughs> a little bit about how that started where it is now and where you want it to go um we we decided to do the radio station um because it's a way of people being able to listen um i mean we've got different guys that come in and play different sorts of music um it's a way of advertising other charities and other groups that are out there available uh, they just have to send the information into us and our guys will read it out um, it's all based online, but you can get it on Android um, app and on Alexa as well. And so we're just building that up at the minute, just because it's online, anyone in the country can listen to it. So we can just let people know what groups are out there, um, as well as listen to some decent music. Yeah, you're going to obviously you're going to be doing the music, music by veterans. Obviously, we're, we, we, we're going to be helping you with that. What other subjects are you want? Are you wanting this to be like a call in where people can ring in, ask questions, have guests on your show? What sort of thing are you wanting to achieve? Yeah, um, all of them. We've, um, we've got the facilities for calling. Um, I mean, our radio manager guy is just building it all up at the minute. Um, so eventually it's going to have shows where people can ring in and, and chat to. Uh, the presenters um once we're allowed um obviously depending on how things go with lockdown and things like that yeah. and then we'll be able to have guests in um to do talks on you know the radio and over the show um and uh, yeah i mean world's are oyster really on it we can do pretty much what we want so you know build it up and see how it goes Okay, well, we, we wish you the best of luck with that. And as, yeah. as a patriot, you've got our full support there, mate, as well. You're doing a good thing there, you and and, and your team. I just want to take you back a couple of steps. You and yeah. your teams, I know, go out during the day, but you go out on an evening as well. Regardless yeah. of if it's dry, raining or snowing, you guys are out there. What sort of response have you had from meeting people? Um, it's been really good. Um, I mean, we always say if we don't see anyone, it's a good night. Yeah. Um, but a lot of the places we go, you do tend to find people, you know, on late night walks, um, just out clearing the head. And you just sit and have a chat to them. Uh, we've been lucky so far that uh, we haven't um, found anybody in crisis, which we always put down as a plus. Yeah. Um, but you know, we do. There is quite a few people. It's surprising how many people go for midnight walks um, at the minute. Um, I think whether it's anything to do with COVID or not, they probably find it's a lot more relaxing and safer for them to wander about at night, yeah. um, taking the dog for a walk and things like that. So we come across quite a few people, you know, and we sit and chat to them. Um, if we do come across anyone that you know is in crisis and and they need some help. Um, then we we have the police force and the ambulance service at hand, um, just 
a phone call away if we need them. So, but hopefully, you know, a good night is when we don't find anybody. Anybody, exactly. But it is nice to actually know that there's organisations out there that are going about talking to people. And if boys and girls are going through a hard time, you're always on the end of the phone in your little operations yeah. room as well. And you've got yeah. teams that can go out at very short notice as well, yeah. which is, um, I know it takes a lot of organisation, um, but well done on, on that. And, and I know it's been a lot of work. A lot of people will just see you guys going out. They don't realise how much administration is involved in getting everything mm. set up behind the scenes. But you've done that. You've got it set up and you've done a sterling job on, on, on that as well. Yeah, um, okay. I'm not going to keep you because I know you've got a lot on, on your plate at the moment. Thank you so much for coming on to this show as well. Can you hold the, the time for a couple of minutes? I'm going to close the interview down, then we can have a chat off camera. To me, all the viewers out there, thank you so much for watching The Patriot Show. Interesting guest today. Rick Roberts, anyone's got any questions, PM me, I'll get them straight over to Rick and we will answer you any questions you've got as well. Please stay tuned for another minute or so to watch some adverts and trailers for veteran-owned businesses and companies across the United Kingdom and the United States. Remember everybody, stay safe, have a great day, take care, goodbye.